Happy Mondays, and this Hello is the first there. video. It's of Monday, week which two means of it's Avo Bravo. My video day. Um, week two and, of Avo yeah, Bravo. So, in case you don't remember, I'm Sarah. And so, um, I do Mondays, and this is the first so, video of um, week two of Avo Bravo. So, let's see. Um, so, this week, well, so yesterday I actually just got back from my cousin's wedding, um, which was really fun, and I had this big plan. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally gonna like take video clips, and that way I can like make the video about it and like oh because it was at a zoo and it was super cool and I was like oh look at this animal look at this animal but my phone died and so I only got like one clip so enjoy this awesome clip of me with some sea lions real quick let them come through here we go Um, but yeah, so it was really fun, you know, like, a, like my fiance and I were like taking notes and we're like, oh yeah, that's really cool and different little things that we want to do. Um, we, let's see, what? Uh, we got to catch up with a lot of family that I haven't seen in like years and I got to introduce Rob to all of them and that was really cool. Um, and it was just really fun. Um, but so, this week I know we had mentioned, um, I think it was like Lydia was saying that we should do questions from Tumblr you know like when people like there's like oh ask me this number and you answer that question so I basically went through and pulled off like quite a few different ones and I wanted to like pick ones that I like so I could answer them so I kind of made my own so my first question was who was the last person you held hands with so it was definitely my fiance um but the funny thing was is when we were at the wedding I held hands with my fiance and my mom at the same time because my cousin and her father were dancing during their father-daughter dance and my mom started crying and I was crying so I was like all right I need both my support systems here <laughs> um does talking about sex make you uncomfortable no not at all I'm an open book TMI ask me anything I'll tell you anything yeah um favorite board game slash board game experience so we have like weekly or not semi-weekly family game nights where we um, have friends over and play lots of board games and it's really fun. Um, so we play, we usually play Catchphrase and Munchkin. Um, we recently got Cards Against Humanity and we also play one called Personally Incorrect. Against Humanity kind of, but it's like super sexual, like more sexual than Cards Against Humanity. And then um, we also play Munchkin, which is super fun. That one's like... I don't know, it's kind of a card game, and basically the premise of it is screwing your friends over, which is cool. Um, but yeah, so those are pretty much all the games we play. Uh, my favorite one would have to be... Probably... I have to say Cards Against Humanity right now is one of my favorite ones. Um, but an experience. So one time we got... Well, we still have it. We have Uno Dare, where you do, like, dares with each other. And so, like, the plus four and the plus twos have dares on them, you have to do them. And then there's, like, three different categories... And there's like make your own but so we were playing uno dare one time and we were all like drinking and it got really fun and we actually have one dare and it's called wear the bag and it's literally a paper bag with a face cut in it <laughs> and it's pretty funny um weird things you do when you're alone i just like to dance around the house like blast music and just like make up random choreography routines because i'm weird and that's what i do when i'm home alone Guilty pleasure. So my guilty pleasure are like Disney Channel movies. Like, oh, um, they're not even High School Musical anymore. Like, I'm kind of over that one. I think it's Descendants, and that one's really good, and I'm kind of obsessed with the theme song from it. But yeah, whatever. I work at a toy store. That's my excuse for everything now. Um, tea or coffee? Both. Because I love tea and I love coffee. It depends. During the winter, I'm more of a tea person because creamer doesn't, you know... Like, you don't put creamer in it so it doesn't get cold. And it's just, like, you hold it and you're like, yeah, winter. I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. Um, what's your favorite breakfast? So my favorite breakfast would probably have to be leftovers because I'm not, like, a, you know, egg kind of person. I'm more of, like, a, hey, I'm going to take that leftover spaghetti and eat it kind of person. Or, like, hey, I'm going to make a sandwich. Like, I don't know. I'm not a big breakfast person, but I like eating. So I eat regular food, not breakfast food. Dogs or cats? Nope. 
So the funniest thing you heard today, um, um, if you could have a new talent, what would you want? I wish I could sing, like actually sing and not be tone deaf. Like that would be cool. Just cause I don't know, I like singing, but I can't sing. So it sucks. Wish I could. Um, what lighting do I from my iPad? Number 10 on your top 25 songs playlist on your phone, and that's the cover, or Cheerleader, the cover by Pentatonix. Um, if you haven't heard of them, go listen to them. They're all acapella. My fiance introduced them to me, and they're freaking awesome. Um, first album ever bought. So the first album I ever bought, and I saved up for it, and I don't know why I bought it, because I hadn't seen the movie yet, but I was like, yeah, that's what I want, was the Cheetah Girls soundtrack. <laughs> Knew all the songs. I read all the books. I knew all the songs. I watched all the movies. I was a fan. Song you can't get out of your head. So don't freaking judge me. But I've had Hotline Bling stuck in my head for like days now. But I'm just like randomly think about it. Like one day I'll be like Hotline Bling, or I'll like see it on Facebook, and then for the rest of the day I'm all you know that Hotline Bling. You know. Um. Favorite movie. So my number one favorite movie, hands down, Finding Nemo, because it's the shit. Um, Finding Dory comes out in like next year and yeah, I'm gonna be there. Um, Drunken Story. So I was thinking about this one and I was like, need a really good story to tell. Oh, so on my 21st birthday. Um, so we, cause I live in Tahoe, so there's like the casinos and you can like walk around and drink and do whatever. So I went with like a bunch of my friends and we went to Mont Blue and then we went to like a hookah lounge and then we went to Hard Rock. And by the time I got to Hard Rock, I was like, it was like, we had been out for like quite a few hours. And so I was pretty like, you know, all over the place. And I decided it would be a great idea to do a cartwheel in the hallway. <laughs> My friend actually got it on videotape. And I like, I'm like, I'm going to do a cartwheel. And I like do it and I land it. And then I just like stumble and like fall into her and then like walk off. Tattoos I want. So I don't have any yet but I'm gonna get one for Christmas um it's gonna be because I have an obsession with Alice in Wonderland and I'm actually gonna get her like on my leg so I'm gonna get it, like right here this and it's gonna be like a black and white rendering um it's gonna be like a black and white drawing from Lewis Carroll's actual novel Alice in Wonderland where she has her back and she has her hand like she's her back's facing out and she's her hands behind her back and she's just like looking up and I'm thinking about having her hold the Mad Hatter's ribbon from his hat in her hand but I'm not sure yet and I want like words maybe or flowers I'm not really sure working on that one um list of concerts you've attended so this is gonna get really embarrassing so the first ever concert I went to was the high school musical concert when I was in seventh grade and I went to school wearing a t-shirt and everyone was just like, you're such a nerd. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> Even though I was hella embarrassed about it. And then, and then all my friends went and they didn't get like shit, but I did. And then, um, so I went and saw Gretchen Wilson because I love country music. I've seen Willie Nelson in concert. How I'm, how you met your current significant other. So we met at Cold Stone Creamery. And we were like, we kind of didn't really talk because I only worked there for three months and then I left. I started working at a ski shop that was right kind of down next to Coldstone. And I went to get ice cream one day and Rob, my fiance, was working. And he was like, hey, I'm manager now. You should come work here again. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I went back to work and then I worked there for a while. Um, like six months, I think it was or something like that. And then... He stepped down from manager position, I took his position, and then by the time we were like best friends, and then a few months in, like, feelings were had, and we've been together ever since. <laughs> we got engaged and everything's cool. Um, favorite memory of this past summer. So my favorite memory this past summer was we went to Monterey after 4th of July, because we live in Tahoe, and 4th of July is like catastrophically insane. And we got like a really nice hotel that had like golf carts that you could drive around the property right on the beach. Went to the aquarium, we went out to lunch. It was just, it was an awesome day. And I was really, that was the best day of my summer. Quote, so my 
favorite quote is going to have to be from Alice in Wonderland and that's going to be we're all mad here because we are. We're all a little crazy. So another one of my favorite quotes is Johnny Depp um, basically saying that we should all, I forget what the exact quote is, but it's saying that we should embrace our weirdness and our individuality and I believe in that and I believe we're all weird so let's embrace it and stop being weird about it. And yeah. Okay, so that's it for this week's video. I just want to thank you for watching. I do videos every Monday, so come back and watch me next week. Uh, if you want to follow me, I'll put in my information down below for um, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I would not, like, if you there's no ideas, I'll probably just talk about more random stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!